right there. kids you ever just have one of those days where it's like everybody you know is having problems but it ends up being your fault well not your fault but it ends up being your problem that's the day i'm having right now the whole weekend my whole weekend is playing around other people's problems right now hey you remember i said my buddy he bought the gt the launcher gt off of me hit a raccoon cracked it like right here then two trash cans blew out in front of him Knock this whole part of his bumper off, core support, and all that stuff. So we have all the parts here to put on his front end. Just got this grill. These grills, these cheaper grills that are like the newer style, they are horrible to get to fit. They don't fit right, okay? Uh, you got to like force them, and then it curled the paint over here, and it's just, but it's in, okay? So we got all this done. So yesterday, on the way home from work, he's still driving it, by the way. He's never been in like an accident. He doesn't, he's not a bad driver or anything like that. A boulder rolled down off the mountain in front of it and launched him into the air, blowing the airbags. And then it come down, blew the tires out on top of that, locked the tires up and it came to a slide. All the fluids evacuated. So this car got totaled and here I am with a painted bumper that I just did for him with all the other parts with it's getting totaled so he wanted he was gonna get this car fixed up he was gonna sell it and he wanted the next build that i'm getting and that build was gonna start next month after i got this thing done well now we have to fast forward so i'm gonna today on this video try to slap this together as good as I can to make it a driving car for the moment because then I got to take this because I'm storing the other car out of his house to take this out to his house to bring that project in because now we have to kickstart that one early so that he has a uh, a work car and it's it is a very nice car and I wanted it like we were gonna do like a deal with that and the Subaru so that episode's coming early and then the, the Honda's getting pushed back because the guy that wanted this, I haven't heard anything from him since I got it. So I don't think he's in a real rush. This other guy doesn't, he has a truck, a big diesel truck. So he doesn't have the, the launcher to drive now. So in this episode, I'm going to try to get the front end slapped together, probably not put the new fender on or anything. I don't, I might put the new hood on. And maybe slap the bumper on and stuff. But I need to get that core support out. The radiator in. The condenser in. And I'm not going to charge the AC. But we're just going to throw it in here. And and then... Um, we got to throw a battery in this thing. And then we should be good to take this out. I'm going to throw all the rest of the parts inside of it. And then we'll, we'll get this thing out of here. Hopefully today. So... <laughs> It's just and and then on top of that, the family member that's having problems with their car, their parts came today, so I got to do coils and plugs on a Chrysler Pacifica. It's like a newer style one. You have to take the whole intake manifold off to do that. So I had to do that. Another thing I had to do this morning, my buddy was coming down to lift with me, and his truck uh, came up no oil pressure. I said, "How's your engine sound?" It sounded normal. So it's a Chevy truck. You guys know that's a common issue. So I changed his oil pressure switch out this more just a couple minutes ago, actually, and it fixed that issue. So we got that. <laughs> it's one thing after another after another. I don't know what I'm doing with all these parts now. I don't know if he's giving them to me. I'm gonna have to list them for sale or what. I I don't know what to do. <sighs> Anyways, I have to go. Battery shopping. I have to get a battery for this car and the next project. So uh, I'm going to do that. Get some oils. Um, just 
you know, change the fluids on these things. And then, yeah, oh, it's an extended weekend for me, and I'm going to be busy on this stuff the whole time. All right, we're back, and our goal for today is to be able to put this in that, okay? So it's drivable, and I kind of want to put all the body panels, headlight, hood, and the fender on. Just temporarily fit them all up, see how it fits. I got core support, too. I want to put that in. So we got a lot to unpack here, along with an oil change, and I got a new battery. By new, it's a year old because I got it for half price at Walmart. So, yeah, score! So let's unwrap this little nugget. Oh, oh it's like it's like Christmas. It's like Christmas. Get out! Get out! Oh, it tore my plastic. Yeah. Oh. There we go. All right. Yeah, we got a little bit out of place over here. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit out of place over here. This one we're going to do body work too. I've talked about this already. Anyways, let's get this uh, hood open. Okay, bend it the right way. Ooh. I think we're going to reuse that. I don't know yet. Can we reuse these flaps? I think so. Anyways, one thing I know I didn't get was radiator fans. And I, do. it kind of needs them. They're all kind of busted, so they're kind of kind of temporarily get used until I get a set, because that sucks. First thing in order we should do is pull this battery out. Now, I know this battery looks like OEM, okay? I know you guys are confused. You're like, you know, that looks factory. Well, it's, it's not, okay? I'm going to put that out there right now. The battery that does go in this has a lot more capacity than this one, okay? So it's it's right here. As you can see, a lot more capacity. And yeah, let's throw that in there. Actually, let's not throw that in there. Let's just take this battery out. I'll get to that later. So I'm going to take this battery out. And I, I want to get the crash damage off. So let's do that. so here we are this is the new core support the old one is still in there some of it because it's not as straightforward as i was thinking it was going to be but here's you know the old one it ripped off the top on this side unbolted that side some stuff savable i need to get this battery tray off um there's a bolt way back in here behind the engine i gotta get to, to to get that bolt out to get the battery tray out so i can bend that some because this needs to come up straight like level 
this might be okay over here but this needs to come up level that edge needs to be bent up another thing i did while i was in here is i peeled this loom back because i didn't want to get into a situation like i did with that cadillac where i had broken wires up where crash damage was so this wire was kind of pinched back in here and i just i was like you know what we're gonna i'm gonna tear it apart see what it looks like this wire was really kinked so i went ahead and peeled the insulation back just to make sure that it was all in one piece and it is and then it it also that was nicked through so it was bare wire showing also this red wire right here which isn't near as kinked as that other one was you can see there's bare metal there so i'm going to tape these up real good um i might hot glue and tape that and then i'm gonna put the loom back on tape it up but the core support is not like a straightforward bolt in it looks to me like hardest part is going to be back here in the back because there's a couple spot welds back in here that you, you can't get to <laughs> so it's like how how do you go about it so we're going to try to chisel the old one off on the front this piece is part of the new core support as you can see um it looks to me from what i can see there's only two spot welds here and then there's two spot welds here and then we should be able to take that off same on that side it's just the ones that go in back here it's going to be hard to get to and this bracket that's bent right there that is part of what stays so we'll also have to straighten that out a little bit all in all though frame rail looks really good the bumper the only thing on it is this dent I'm not worried about that. Uh, we're going to be missing a lot of pieces. I got some plastic pieces, but there's a bunch of plastic pieces in the front, and I don't, I don't even know where to source them. I almost need to find a parts car somewhere. Anyways, um, no lines damaged. All the the coolant lines are okay. We're we're gonna plastic or yeah plastic staple. We're gonna um, hot staple these fans back together temporarily. This is something I can replace later, um, but for now I need to use these. And this one, it it rubs a little bit. Of course, it's kind of torqued right now from the way it's sitting on there. It's not even attached. I don't think, or maybe it is. Something there. Um, and this one does still have one bolt holding it in, but we're going to plastic weld the mounts back on and the, the surround. This one, the fan's actually broken right there and there's a piece missing and it's broken right here, but we're going to try to just temporarily reuse those. So we're going to be plastic welding, uh, a bunch of this back together. It's going to, yeah, temporary. Remember, guys, temporary. But as much as I want to just slap this together so I can get it moving, I can't really just do that with the core support. So I, I do have to weld this in or spot weld this in. I can't just half do this. Uh, and I, this has to be done right. So uh, this air box, this is busted. I don't even know what's holding it on. Still, oh, there's a 10 down here. There's a 10 over there. We need this whole, well, not this whole piece. This is all good. It's just broken right there. But this is all, that's just a resonator box, and that's not going to hurt to leave it off at the moment. Yeah, this is, I need a whole air box assembly. Then there's a snorkel that comes off of here. It runs to the front to suck air. It's lots, lots of damage here, really. New fans ordered, but plastic welded, tabs back on, just, you know, cruelly got everything attached, and uh, they spin without rubbing, which is a big plus. So, uh, let me get the new radiator out so I can switch everything over and have that ready, then I can throw away everything else is here. The condenser also bolts right to the radiator. So I might do that as well. Yeah, let me get that stuff out. A new ray, ha, ha. 
and condenser. And I noticed the radiator comes with nothing. At least our cap was okay on our old one, so we aren't gonna have to reuse that. Is it twisted? Don't get it twisted. Kind of looks like it's a little out of shape. I don't know. All right, well, let's get the stuff out of the box and I'll put everything together over there and have that ready for the car. tallest thing of order here is getting this core support out i still got to get that what i'm gonna do the battery tray get it out straighten it up uh i'm gonna shoot some enamel on it or or something some sort of paint so that it, it's you know not the paint's all cracked up and stuff from it being poor like that um but we need to get that core support out that's our main thing of order. So I'm going to get that resonator box out, and then I'm going to try to work on that. And like I said, I'm going to try to chisel down. Honestly, I should air chisel, because that would definitely take it out. Maybe we will. I don't know how good my air chisel is. Maybe we got to run to Harbor Freight. <laughs> Simpler than I thought. Wow. Wow. That was easy. here to feed me my hands are dirty she's gonna feed me Why are you looking like that? don't choke See, there's too much enjoyment in your face when you said that i'm kind of feeling a little leery i'll do too next This is a baby one, so you should be right with those too. Almost there. Oh, shit. Pull it off. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I, I blew it and dried it off. So not only did I... <laughs> come on! We made come on, you're the one who's supposed to be biting me in my mouth! That's what she said? All right, this went a lot faster than I expected. I'm <clears throat> a little dirt in my throat. I'll be all right. Um, anyways, uh, what you need to do is clean up your spot welds. That, that sheet metal on those core supports is so thin that just with a chisel and hammering down through it, there are one, two, three, six spot welds on each side. That's all that holds the core support in. It's really minimal okay it's it is hardly anything holding it together okay so here's what holds your radiator and everything in let me show you here do it a little spin around a little wrap around i think i'll do a wrap around right here 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 and here and then back here all it did was put a chisel down through there and all it did was rip the metal around the spot weld. So we just have to grind them off, which is a lot easier than trying to drill a spot weld out. We're gonna have to, well, we're gonna grind those down and then we're also gonna grind these down smooth. And uh, I'm gonna get my spot welder out and we're gonna re-spot weld those on there. I think we got enough play in the tank, it'll be all right. Um, this side, we need to straighten it out. I can see that battery box bolt real easy now. So let's let's do the battery box next. There's two bolts up there, one here and one there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that off, straighten it out. Then I'm gonna straighten this up the best I can, uh, just with some dollies and a hammer and stuff. And I'll I'll show you that to you once I get it, you know, all straightened up and stuff. Probably gonna spray some. I have that steel it stuff. I think I'm and you can weld through it. So I think I'm gonna use some of that back here spray on there uh once i clean all this stuff up we're going to use it on that and just spray it um both sides i did almost go through that but it'll still i know it will spot weld so we'll do these but yeah let's continue on i want to get this thing together I, I i made way more progress than i expected to i'll we'll just put it that way so far All right, now I should be able to put the core support up here and put a couple of the bolts in for the bumper support to hold it in place. So let's go ahead and do that. Put the core support in here. Actually, no. Battery tray. wonder if it's dry. It's still wet. I did spray it. Uh, might be dry enough to put it in. Yeah, let's let's try. Let's set it in there. I would rather put the battery tray in first since it's a little bit of a pain to get to before I go and uh, do the finishes and touches here. 
Oh, I did redo this wire and, and uh, I painted it there so it looks really nice. How do you like that? Really nice! Alright, trying to put this battery tray in and hold the camera at the same time. It's not my best choice. It's still a little bit angled. So I'm going to put these bolts in here and uh, leave them loose. And then we're going to angle it up and then tighten them up. See how that works out. All right, now that we know that the battery tray works, the battery sits in there, it goes in tight, we're good there. I took it back out because I need room for the spot welder. Uh, getting to these back areas back here, I actually need to take the battery tray back out. So I, I at least got to see that it fit, but I do want to get this core support in here. So I'm going to get it up here, I'm going to bolt it in, and then we'll start spot welding it with my spot welder. From Harbor Freight. All right, so the main thing you can see here is it's bolted in. That means all the holes lined up and it's, you know, looks to be level. It's kind of hard to like judge. You, you have a little bit of play to move left and right, but I, I really don't think it's going to affect the end result. Um, I tried to center the holes up. Actually, what I tried to do is kind of level the the back plate with the, the you know this. It sticks up just a little bit in the back, and they're level. Now the bumper, the the bumper support has slots that hook into this these hooks here, and then. Uh, that's when you put your bolts in and everything and then these bolt holes actually are for the I wonder if I should put the bumper on there Let me figure this out. I'll get back to you guys All right If you ask me we're making really good progress tonight. I want to continue on It's like almost seven o'clock. I'm gonna go eat. I'm gonna come back out here I think I can get a majority of this done today. Cause with so much stuff I have to do, I, I really want to get as much of this done as possible today. So now this new core support is uh, got. I had to straighten out a tab over there. You, you might get them bent. I'm just saying. I'm just warning you. Uh, there was a couple. Yeah, the, right here. How it comes down, it bent that which is it's just a tab that a wiring harness sticks into, so no big deal. This is how you know when you're lined up pretty good. That bolt hole for that washer tank lines up almost perfectly. So I like where we're at. I like where we're at. I just got to I did hammer this in. I had to hammer it in because it wasn't close enough to... Wait a minute, right here. I had to hammer that in because we weren't close enough to the core support to uh tack it on there but yeah i think we can do it now this paint on this stuff's thin and i'm pretty sure i can spot weld it without grinding the paint off i just have to wiggle the spot welder until it wears the paint off and then it'll spot weld itself so that's what we're gonna do all right i'll be back after i get something to eat all right, I made up my mind. I'm going to go ahead and take this back apart and grind the paint off the backside edges of all the areas that are going to get spot welded because I don't want to have some trouble spot welding it. And then after you do that, then you spray weld through primer on it. So let me get through all that, get it back on here, and then we'll start spot welding. All right, remastered. Okay, so it's back on there. It I ground the paint off then put that steel stuff on it. So now let's get the spot welder out. Do that. Then we can start slapping this thing together. Huh? How about her? Looks like this.
The only thing I can think of at the moment is maybe this stuff's not weld through. I thought I read somewhere that it was. I'm starting to think that it's not. It's made with actual stainless steel, but I only got one tack on so far, and it's over here, the top one. The, I'm going to mess around with this and see if I can get these back ones because they're a pain. And then when I, if I do and when I do, then I'll get back to you so we can take this bumper off and do the front ones. I'm just, I don't know why. I don't know why. So unfortunately, the problem here is the stainless steel paint stuff I got. Um, I sanded it off and then like ran it between where I'm going to be spot welding and stuff. And then I could get it to spot weld. So I have to do the same thing on the front side. The only reason I did that way, I would have pulled it off and sanded it off, but I already have one spot weld that went in, and I don't want to ruin this core support to get the rest of the spot welds in. So I think I can do it with it on here. I mean, I got the rest of them, so I'm going to continue on. I'm going to take this front bumper support off now, and uh, we need to get the front ones. So, wish me luck, maybe, kind of. All right, we're making really good progress. I could, honestly, I could put antifreeze in it right now, but um, I'm not worried about charging the AC. Put a new hood latch on. I got brand new hood hinges right over there, so I'm gonna put those on. I'm gonna go ahead and take this hood off, and we're gonna slap the new one on. I'm not putting any of this stuff on, because the I'm gonna take the hood off to paint it, I believe, yeah. I'm going to take the hood off to paint it whenever I do paint this car. Uh, but for right now, I'm just going to take the hood off, set it aside, and uh, put the new hinges on and the new hood. Then I'm going to go ahead and throw the new fender on too. Why not? Um, just, you know, we're test fitting. Test fitting and kind of getting it ready for a drive. Um, then I got the front bumper, and we're going to throw it on. I don't know... Let me look at how the grill attaches. We might put the grill in. I don't know yet. All right, so we're going to go grillless because 
the grill has clips across the bottom and if I clip that in I'm gonna have a world of hurt or I could put it on and not clip it and just put pins in the top of it because that definitely will hold it we'll see we'll see when we get there I got brand new headlights put in it too um so but that's 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 happening here let's let's keep going we're making good progress man I got a mess anyways forward ho Tell your mom to sit down I wasn't talking to her <laughs> Hi fellas. So my camera card filled up. Made some progress and then all progress was halted. I uh, decided to put coolant in the radiator and I started seeing coolant leak over the engine. So now I have a tour back apart again. Let me show you guys. So I started filling it up and then I I started seeing as you can see there's some coolant there and there's some that ran down across the front and up here. Now you remember when I got this we had to replace the intake manifold, the EGR tube right here. And then there's something right else right in that facility. Not only that. Uh, also, look at this radiator hose that I didn't notice. So, I need this radiator hose, but that's not where it was leaking. I wish it was. <laughs> it's not. So, you can see it ran back through there or whatever. Um, the best way... Well, actually, I was going to say I'll show you on camera, but I actually can see it with my own two eyes. Okay. So, get back in there. There's that flange right there that's below the EGR valve. You can see it's cracked. In half, it's busted. This thing took a heck of a hit. I'm glad that that's what it is. Because I was also thinking that our head was cracked. The way I was getting coolant everywhere. <clears throat> but no, it's this, this flange where the upper radiator hose connects. 
this flange is busted. So let me go ahead and pop that out of there real quick. We're going to make a mess. But yeah, let me pop it out and we'll take a look at it. Or take a gander at what I'm working with here. This is nice. I'm not a rocket scientist, but I don't think that it, this is supposed to be split about 70% of the way around. Onto the face. Onto this face, not this face. Yeah, you see that? I don't know how long it's going to take me to get this. My question is, do I JB weld it and put it back together for now? <laughs> so I can drive it out there. I honestly would like to try. But I'd have to get that clamped flat. Because it's right now it's not flat. I think as soon as I would bolt it on there, it would probably crack the JB weld. Because it's, it's got tension on it now as it is. I don't know. I'm going to try to JB weld this and see how it looks in the morning. Okay? This is a long video. Alright. Here we go. She's clamped tight. So it pushed it back together. I also, before I put the JB weld on, I used my little like pen grinder. And I grinded down through the crack on the outside the whole way around. And then a ground on the inside and around the crack, cleared an area, like ground it, I know, had it really rough looking. And then I JB welded it from the inside, pushing it through the crack. And then out on the outside, so it went through the crack. So it joined from the inside to the outside. And then I clamped it down in this clamp. We're going to come back to this and uh, unclamp it <laughs> and see if it holds. If it breaks as soon as I unclamp it, then we'll know. Um, but it didn't hold. But you can see we got really good coverage. I covered every area that I ground away with the grinder. So giving it the best chance it can have at actually working. So we can actually drive this out to my buddy's place. I am going to order this if I can find it. I remember that EGR tube was, was hard to find. I had to get it direct from Honda. I'm assuming I'm going to have to get this direct from Honda too. So, all right. Oh, I need that radiator hose too. Oh, that's going to screw me. No. We can make something work. All right, so I may have made... A lot of progress last night. It was 1 o'clock till I came in, which is not ideal, but whatever. And uh, there's going to be two outcomes here. We're either going to put this thing back together and it's going to hold coolant and then the video is going to be over. Or the piece that JB welded together is going to come apart as soon as I take the clamp off of it. And it'll be the end of this video. <laughs> so let's see. What, let, let's show you what's going on anyway. Now, never mind it being really dusty. That's from the bumper sitting in here. The grill is held on with zip ties. The bumper is clipped in, not bolted in. Um, but this is good enough, I think, to drive it, hopefully. Still got parts to swap over, but not worried about them at the moment. What I'm worried about is this thing, whether it holds or not. Now, this has been clamped in here for about 14 hours now. And the JB Weld feels like it might be holding. I don't know. I hope it does. But we got to grind. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and grind that smooth now. And then we'll take the clamp off. Yeah, let's try that first. I took the clamp off after I sanded that pretty dang smooth and it's holding in place. 
<laughs> Don't do this, okay? I'm only doing this so I could drive this thing temporarily. I did order this piece. It was, honestly, it was cheap. I think it was 18 bucks. So, not bad. And that's from Honda. Okay. So, the, the other thing is uh, we got to put some sealant on here. And then carefully bolt this one. Oh, I also had to clean it out. I got some metal shavings on the inside. So, let me clean this up. Throw it in the car. And then we'll see if I can add coolant. I've, I got a radiator hose that was here. It's too big to fit these flanges, but I got really good clamps. And I just squeezed it down tight on the radiator, and I'll have to do the same with this. Hopefully, it'll seal. Just This is all a temporary fix. I ordered a radiator hose, too. So, all right. I should have videoed it. As luck would have it. <laughs> it. It was starting to pull apart. So I hurried up and got it in there and bolted it in tight. Don't know if that's going to hold or not. We're going to find out. Anyways, what happened? There's two bolts that hold that in. Got the top one in. Or no. I picked them up. I ended up dropping one. You remember that resonator tube? It was over here. I was sitting here like this. Sure enough, as luck would have it, that bolt went in this hose. It went down into this resonator box, so I had to remove this to retrieve the bolt to put in that flange. I'm going to put cool in it now. I'm, my expectations are pretty low on this holding, so I'm not even going to put the radiator, or I mean the, the air box or anything back on at this moment. I'm just going to put coolant in it. I don't even know about doing that because I don't want to waste all my coolant. But I'm going to set the camera down here so you can see yourself if it's leaking. You can tell me down in the comments. Let me know so I can stop filling it up and wasting coolant. <laughs> All right, so that's the end of this video. <laughs> it's leaking. I can. It's dripping out. You look right around here, right there. You can see it dripping off, right there. Yep. Fortunately, this caused a lot more work for me because now I gotta get this loaded on the dolly to take it out because it's not runnable. It's, it's just a pain in the butt. Um, but I'm hoping to fix this issue before I bring it back. I don't know. It's no use in me throwing all this stuff back in it. I'm just going to put it in the car along with a bunch of hardware and we'll figure it out. So anyways, if you like this video, smash that like button. Consider subscribing. Hit that dislike button if your mom likes when I try to fill her crack. And we'll see you on the next episode of Unwrapped. Mr. Soli, what are you doing? All right, now I need to he said, don't touch me. I want to get some pets. These cats are just not as lovable as Stu Man. Mm -hmm. That was just a little yawn. I've seen much bigger from you. This cat is big. Big boy. Look at this. You need a bath. You're stinky. Stinky. Oh no. Hi, Miss Stella. Hi. She's like 
I knew you was in here. Yep. No, oh, grumpy. Grumpy man. What are you doing? What? People bye. Stewie. Stewie. Say bye-bye. Nope.